What's up guys, Rajat from VFX World. Welcome back to another amazing tutorial. In this video, you will be learning about advanced light glowing effect inside of After Effects. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. right now we are in after effects version 2020 and for this you need to do about something in mocha so first of all i imported this footage in after effects and then select the footage right click go to effects controls and then bodies effects mocha and then mocha pro and then simply click the mocha button and let's jump into mocha pro. now inside of mocha we have to do some several tracking methods and for this we need to take this explain select this and simply drag it something like that this kind of rough kind of shape adjust it it's completely up to you and then select this automatic from uniform and click this mesh and perspective and after that generate mesh now after that you have to press this play button simply like this now we have already made a separate detailed video on this mocha pro power mesh and if you still not watch that you can click this i button to watch that video so the track is done and I did the track only this much frame range because that is enough for this tutorial and after that when you're happy with your tracking you have to set your reference frame to I'm just selecting the reference frame to let's take around 3.10 seconds it's good enough then click this option this is called show planner surface then just click this so you can see this planner surface is visible right now and after that click this one that's it now what you have to do just you can from here save it or also close it and by pressing save simply close the mocha and let's jump into after effects okay so we are back in after effects and before moving forward if you are new in this channel don't forget to subscribe like comment and share and also follow us on our social media platforms and also previously we made another video which which is a basic simple process of making a glowing light effect inside of After Effects. This video is crossed 1,35,000 views and if you are still not watch that video you can click this i button to watch that video. Okay now let's jump again to the tutorial part. So this is our track footage which is done here right now. So first of all click this main footage and then you have to duplicate this. So go to edit and from here just press duplicate or you can press ctrl D to duplicate this. Control D and it's duplicated and then right click we have to just simply pre-compose this just make it pre-compose and move all attributes to inside of this composition that's it and then just press OK but before that I just renaming it to let's take around FRZ frame it means freeze frame and then just simply press ok that's it now you have to go inside of this layer and you have to find that same time duration which you want to use our static frame range so for this i'm using this 3.10 second and then select right click go to time and again you have to click this freeze frame so it means right now this completely is in freeze frame it's a complete jpeg so now you have to go back to our main comp and from here you have to mask out this much area so just select this mask ellipse tool and simply drag it something like that okay so now we have to do something amazing just click here go to this layer and we are taking this auto trace option and you can see by default it's coming so much details there so you have to play with this three shoals and the minimum area of this pixels now you have to play with this so I'm just making increasing this three shoals value a little bit so now you can see all the lines are getting disappear and you have to also increase this minimum area as well now you have to do this very precisely because we need only this four digits here so whenever you're happy with all your settings just you have to press this ok button so now you can see by default these types of mask is happening here so but we have to delete the rest of the mask so select all this unwanted mask and simply delete this we have to delete this one as well so now we have very good clean traced options here so first of all we have to pre-compose this auto trace just right click then pre-compose and let's rename it to main comp and we have to just move all attributes inside and then just press ok that's it now you have to select our main footage select this mocha pro control c and select this main comp and then control v okay after that we have to go to this modular renders and from here click this render option and from lens undistort we have to click this stabilize wrap that's it and now let's play the footage first to see how the track is exactly happening and you can see the track is going really well now if you notice everything is working really well and also the track is stick on its own space so thanks to bodies effects to amazing update of this mocha otherwise i think we can't do this kind of steps here okay so now we have to go to our main comp just double click here so right now we're in main comp and from here i'm just using from video copilot saber options is completely free now go to this customize core from here change it from saber to layer mask that's it and now i'm just decreasing the glow intensity to let's take around 35 percent and the line should be code size let's take around 0.8 which is pretty good 
and now let's do some animation stuffs here so for here just make this end offset click this one and make it to zero and move a little bit like uh, four or 4.5 seconds and increase it to first okay something like that this is amazing and you want to play this it should be something like that okay now very good and from here just go to this first frame turn on this evolutions and from less five seconds or 5.5 seconds let's increase it to two this is good enough so what happened you can see some flickerings are exactly happening here okay now go back to our main comp here and from here just you can see this is going black just toggle this and from normal I'm making it to screen and now you can use it for like add also but I prefer to the screen or also the light in so make it to screen here okay so the animation is looks so amazing and you can see in front of your screen how it's look like okay now I'll show you my main comp which I exactly did before this tutorial so I'm just going the main comp here just make it to don't save and this is my main comp where I exactly did let's go inside of this I duplicate that auto trace option just make it to solo here so I just make another same one in different colors and from down here I'm just making it to enable mask it was in disable for the very first time but I change it to enable mask so it means everything is right now inside of this mask yes and I just make it to multiply with this too so whenever you play this both the lines are exactly start working something like that and after that it will disappear that's it and whenever you go back I just decrease the main comp color like I just decrease the main color of the footage because that footage is very bright you can see by using the adjustment layer and just decreasing the color a little bit and yes that's it after that you can use you're very much using glow and all or many kind of stuffs as well so guys this is it for today i hope you really enjoyed this advanced lightning glow effect inside of after effects by using mocha pro and also after effects itself so thank you boris effects for giving this amazing update and if you really love this channel vfx world then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram LinkedIn and Twitter all links are in description box below and also check out our very easy tutorial based on after effects lightning go effect which is already is in description box below see you in my next video till then have fun stay healthy keep rocking keep watching keep